Okay guys, here's video two uh, of the dwelling. I did some mock-ups in Coral Draw to give you a better idea how it looks. Uh, I've got a wood-fired pizza oven there with a hot tub, which uh, the hot tub will be heated via the wood-fired pizza oven, copper piping. Uh, here's a street view. The whole container will be clad in rustic corrugated iron and a wood-burning technique called Shaosugi Barn. Uh, it has a great finish. Here's a side view with the greenhouse that I'll be setting up, which will actually heat the house. It'll be a closed loop system. I'll have inlet and exhaust fans bringing fresh heated oxygenated air into the dwelling and the stale carbon monoxide air, dioxide air out back into the greenhouse. Here's the inside view. It's a very sort of um, uh, simple design, guys. Uh, and that's all I need. I, it's, I'm just by myself. So here's an aerial view of how it will look. Um, yeah, there's a fire pit there. There's the hot tub. Uh, bed. Uh, it's pretty basic, but that's all I need for now. Uh, I will have a workshop down the track as well on the other side. Uh, a separate container. Here's the draftsman's plans. Uh, they're not great quality. Um, I couldn't quite figure out how to, you know, take a clipping of a PDF from my draftsman and make it look cool. Uh, and here's a side view which shows the cement pads and piers. Uh, need five down each side, and they're a metre square by a minimum of 800 millimetre deep. So they're quite substantial, and it's, I think, personally, it's a bit of overkill. But the legislation demands certain things to be done, so I had to jump through some hoops there. Uh, here's some more draftsman's plans. This is a, a direct aerial view of the entire property uh, with the workshop there as well. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of stuff, please hit the subscribe button, then the grey bell on the side of that, and then uh, click on the word all up the top, and that means you'll get all of my videos instantaneously in your feed. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Just quickly, guys, I forgot to mention that the uh, dwelling will be cooled via a geothermal cooling system, another closed-loop system. I'm going to uh, 1.87 metres above the water table here. So I'm going to dig two metres down uh, the entire length of the uh, container. So it'll be f uh, just a tad over 40 feet. And I'm going to stick in the trench some 150 millimetre PVC piping. And either end of that, one end will come out from it all the air will be exhausted out through the bathroom exhaust fan and go down through the system there will be a moisture trap at the bottom of the the vertical um, piping which will have a bilge pump connected to a ball float system which will work autonomously taking out the moisture etc and the other end which will be the cooled air will come in at the bedroom uh, so as it passes through the, the dwelling and heats up, but cools the dwelling down, but also heats up by the time it gets to the bathroom, it'll go through again. So over a you know, two or three hour period, it should um, equalise out uh, and give me some nice temperature there during the uh, hot days of summer, etc. Thanks, guys. Ciao.